We are here in the southwest part of Michigan in the Michiana region and we're here to ch check out Dwajak. Beautiful little city with a beautiful downtown area and while we're here we'll explore the city, also check out a museum, get some food, and also he head to one of the parks around here. Hi everyone, it's Scott, Scott Mann, welcome to Dwajak, Michigan. Dwajak has come a long way since it's been originally found as a frontier town back in 1848 has a lot of great small businesses, some great restaurants, and some beautiful parks well, over here too. And of course, and keep in mind, look at the, the, the name of the city, it's pronounced Dwajek. How do I know that? Well, there's a, there's a nice little sign telling you. <laughs> All right, so let's go explore this beautiful city. Dwajek has a beautiful downtown. Many of the buildings you see here date back to the 1870s. Unfortunately, a fire a decade earlier wiped out many buildings in the city. From the 1880s to the 1950s, Dwajek was a huge manufacturing hub as it had many furnace companies and other factories including round oak furnaces. In the 1960s through the 1980s, smaller factories replaced the larger ones. From the 80s through today, small businesses and tourism make up a large part of the city's economy. The name, Dwajek, is inspired by the Native American word for foraging ground. Over here, this is the Beckwith Theater, which started in 1990 and is located inside a building dating back to 1925. And inside this theater, they put on a lot of great performing arts performances with comedies, dr dramas, musicals, etc. And if you want to learn more about Dwajak as well as the surrounding area, you definitely have to check out the Dwajak Area History Museum. It is absolutely free to enter. You got a lot of cool exhibits and you can learn more about the great history about this area. I highly recommend checking it out for yourself. The museum has many cool exhibits showing the great history of Dwajak. You can see the many furnaces built on display here. The museum also explores the city's Native American heritage. All right, after exploring the beautiful city of Dwajek for a little bit, it's time to get some lunch because I am getting hungry. So we're gonna stop here at Wounded Minnow Saloon. They're supposed to have some really, really good food. So we're gonna head inside, get some food, and then we'll go check out a couple parks afterward. Yeah, a little fun fact, I'm filming this right around Halloween, so it's pretty cool that they got some Halloween decorations in the window here. All right, so here inside, it's a really cool interior. I also like all the Halloween, Halloween decorations that are up right now too. <laughs> Yep, so I got some great food here and got some beer bear fish with fries and of course the Scott Man classic or coleslaw. <laughs> this looks quite tasty. All right, let's dig in. Mm -mm. Fries are pretty good, nice and warm. And of course this coleslaw. So creamy and delicious. And here's their, here's their fish. Actually, ooh, it's starting to fall apart on me a little bit. <laughs> but now it's bite size. Ooh, it's a little hot. Mmm. This is really good, really good batter. Nice and hot, a little bit of salt. You almost don't even need the tartar sauce. But I like tartar sauce, we're gonna dip some in. Mmm-mm. The food was quite good, I have to say. Definitely worked up that appetite. All right, so yeah, if, if you're looking for some really good food here in Dwajak, definitely check out Wounded Minnow Saloon. All right, so let's go check out some parks while we're here before we conclude this video. Dwajak has a lot of cool parks throughout the area. There's even some small parks too within the city itself, but get some really nice ones when you go to the eastern edge of the city. We're over here at James Haddon Park, and this 
park, although very small, it's very scenic. You get cool views of the Duwaja Creek and of course Mill Pond over that way. This is a really good fishing spot and there's even a couple picnic tables over here too where you can have a nice picnic on a day like on a day, beautiful day like today. One thing I forgot to mention too is that uh, you can also put your boat here in here into the creek as well too over here at this park. A nice little small park. All right, so we're gonna head just a little bit to the south of here, maybe like a mile, if even that. And we'll check out an even bigger park. So let's head, let's head over there now. And here we are at our last stop for this video. This is a uh, Rudolphi Wildlife Refuge. It's a 325 acre park which has a lot of cool hiking trails and in the winter time you can even do cross country skiing here too. So let's go into the Rod Rodolfi Woods. You just gotta love the Rudolphi Woods. A very beautiful park. Highly recommend checking it out when you're visiting Dwajak. But yeah, it's really cool to see how Dwajak has developed over the years, or, or I should say evolved and changed over the years. Because it originally started out as a frontier town and ended up getting a lot of heavy manufacturing, including like the, with the furnace industry. And then, and then now today, it's just mainly just for like small businesses, restaurants, and tourism. But when you're visiting Southwest Michigan, you have to check out Dwajak, a very beautiful city. All right, so thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join for the adventure. And uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so uh, that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott of the Scott Man, signing out here from Dwajak, Michigan.